Hello tech world, this is Tech Thoughts, and in this video we'll be taking a quick look at Diag-V, which is a PowerShell module that contains several Hyper-V diagnostics, which helps give you a really rapid insight into your Hyper-V environment. So to demo this, I've gone ahead and spun up a two node cluster, which we can see here. So two hype Hyper-V cluster. And to get Diag-V installed, you can pull it right down from the PowerShell gallery. So we'll install a module, Dag V from the PowerShell gallery repository. If you haven't uh, done this before on the device, uh, you'll get a prompt for the NuGet installation, which we're getting right here. We'll go ahead and agree to that. And then once NuGet is installed, we'll go ahead and get another prompt for uh, installing from the PS gallery. And we'll go ahead and say the yes to that as well. And Diag-V is now installed on this device. First, we'll import the module. So we'll import module Diag-V. And you can do a git module on Diag-V and see pretty quickly that there are several functions uh, that this module has to give you some really quick diagnostic capabilities for your Hyper-V servers. So all the functions that Diag-V has can be called directly. So we can start with a git VM status. And this is cluster aware. So what it's done is loop through all of the nodes inside the cluster and given us the running status of all VMs that are currently running. So I see the VMs that are running on Hype 2, as well as the VMs that are running on Hype 1. We also see uh, a not running section, and we can see that everything is running on Hype 1, uh, but not running on Hype 2. So again, Diag-V just kind of goes a little bit further than like standard commandlets like git VM, which only returns the local running VMs uh, for a particular node. And we'll actually reach out to the entire cluster and give you that overall snapshot view and just rapidly diagnose what's going on. So if you had a VM down, uh, this would very rapidly indicate to you uh, which one is actually having a problem. We can do some other ones by directly calling a function such as uh, git VM all VHDs. And what this will do is we'll show you all of the VHDs that are attached to each VM. So here we have hype one, uh, PS host one is running, and we see that it has two VHDs. We see how big those are, how big they could potentially be, as well as where they're physically located at. So this is really handy on identifying where your VHDXs are actually stored and how they're actually configured on each VM. In addition, Diag-V takes things a little bit further and we'll do some calculations for you. And this will show you like a total uh, usage. So the VMs that are running on this two node test environment are currently uh, physically using 97 gigs, but because they're dynamic, uh, could potentially, potentially use up to 515 gigs. So again, uh, the goal of Diag-V is just rapid insight and uh, you know diagnostic capabilities for your Hyper-V environment. So if you don't have all of the function names memorized, that's not a big deal you can run show Diag-V menu, and that will present you with a, a console-based kind of graphical user interface, uh, which will give you insight into all the available diagnostics that Diag-V has. So for instance, if we wanted to run an over-allocation check to see the overall health of our environment, and if our VMs were uh, using too many of the resources on our physical chassis, we could run an over-allocation check, and we could see that as the test Hyper-V allocation function. We can go ahead and run that from this menu, which makes it really easy to, to interact with Diag-V on an ongoing basis. So that's going to go ahead and loop out to all of the cluster nodes in the cluster and give us a health report back uh, for our, our VMs versus how much actual physical resources we have to power them. And we get a, uh, a report back. So we look at the cores and the logical processors of the actual physical chassis and bump that against how many vCPUs and RAM is being assigned to the VMs. And we can see here that the hype is very healthy with 19% free uh, memory at this current time. We're sitting at a one-to-one -one ratio of logical processors to vCPUs, which is great. Could probably actually bump up those VMs a little bit. And we also see that uh, we're not over-allocating any RAM here, um, sitting at the exact amount that were uh, allocated in that chassis. That'll go ahead and loop out and do the exact same report for Hype 2. And then we also get a M plus one allocation evaluation, which means would our VM survive if one of the nodes in the, in the cluster went down? Uh, for true high availability. So we see here that that is not the case in this particular test cluster. Uh, our VMs would not survive a one node failure because our total VM RAM minimum is 27 gigs, but only 24 gigs are available uh, for each chassis. So this is something that we would need to look into if we want to maintain true high availability for those VMs. And of course, we also uh, loop through all those cluster storage volumes and make sure that we're uh, following Microsoft best practices for recommended free space on those. So again, just really rapid insight into your environment and what's going on. 
One of my favorite Hyper-V diagnostics is the Git Hyper-V logs. Uh, this is really robust and allows you to do some really great things as far as looping through all of the logs that are inside of, of the node that you're logged into. So if you just run it by itself, it'll loop through every single Hyper-V log and pull all of the information that it finds back from that log. Now, that's obviously a lot of information. Um, so you probably want to uh, narrow this search down a little bit, but uh, it does have the capability to give you everything. So notice that this is searching not just uh, one log, but every single log that has anything to do with Hyper-V uh, is being pulled back. So to narrow this down, we can. Uh, this function has a lot of different options. We could do last minutes. So if you are, for instance, curious about what has been logged in the last 20 minutes on the server for all the Hyper-V logs, uh, you can see that nothing has. So if we expand that a little bit uh, to 90 minutes, uh, we do get some returns. So this is what's been going on on our Hyper-V server for the last 90 minutes, uh, which is really great if you want to duplicate a problem and see if additional log entries are coming in. So you could, for instance, uh, try to duplicate an error and then pull the last two minutes of logs to see if it popped back in the event log. We can also do things with Git Hyper-V logs, uh, such as uh, specifying date ranges. So you can do start date and then put in, for example, we'll go from December 17th. And if you don't specify an end date, it goes to the, today's date. So this will only pull back the logs from uh, December 1st until today. Uh, so we'll get just a, a short amount of, uh, so we're essentially narrowing our scope down. Additionally, if you're not interested in all the information logging, um, you can just do warnings, errors, and criticals only. Uh, so for example, if I only want uh, warning and errors from, let's say the last 90 minutes, there are no warnings and critical errors for the last 90 minutes. So I could, for example, go back in time and pull any warning as an error for this month. So I'll start date at 12.01.17. And so for the entire month of December, this is what has been error logging on this box. So this is just a really great function to give you super uh, detailed information back from the logs in a really rapid fashion, uh, allowing you to pinpoint where those problems are occurring and, and actually uh, do something about it. So I encourage you to play around with DIAG-V, uh, explore the available diagnostics. There's quite a few of them. Hopefully it'll do some great things uh, as you manage your Hyper-V environment. If you can't download from the PowerShell gallery due to some restrictions, um, you can hop over to TechNet and there is a DIAG-V download there where you can just download the zip and manually install the module yourself uh, if for whatever reason you can't engage with the PowerShell gallery. And uh, DIAG-V is uh, fully open source uh, on GitHub, so feel free to either contribute to the project or submit any bugs that you find. I actually found one uh, while filming this video. So report those in and uh, I'll try to get them fixed as soon as I can. And as always, uh, there's a full write-up on the techthoughts.info blog if you have any additional questions around DIAG-V.